Ito ang biyahe by DJ Lala Banderas. DJ Lala Banderas. Hi love, 11.03 on the clock. Alam mo na, biyahe sender na tayo. <laughs> ano biyahe? <laughs> para, sa, para sa ating biyahe sender of the night, we are going to take a quick pause sa ating biyahe ngayong gabi na biyahe nga. Don't be silent kasi kailangan tayo ng isa sa ating mga listeners ngayong araw na to. So this one was sent to us over at our Facebook page DJ Lala Banderas. Ito na po ang biyahe ni Arian. Hi po DJ Lala, I'm Arian Carilia po, 17 years old, transgender and I am still in love with my ex who sa uh, Name is uh, Gabriel Eyong. O, di ba? May pag-shoutout pa. <laughs> We broke up two years ago. Medyo mahirap po kasi pagkatapos naming mag-break, lahat ng friends ko nilalandi niya sa IG. At lahat po ng friend ko is hindi pa po sila nagsasabi kung hindi ko sila mahuhuli. Kung, uh, kung uh, tutuusin po, Napakasaya nga eh, kasi araw-araw po akong umiiyak noon, DJ. Pero I'm okay po now, still friends pa rin po kami ng mga friends ko, pero nakakailang lang po. Sana po eh mabasa nyo ito. Well, sabihin na natin na in your bun- bunch, yung, uh, yung, yung friends nyo, yung circle of friends ninyo, you are the better person. Yun na lang yung tignan natin, Arian, na y- you are the best in all of them. Pagdating sa pagiging tao, pagiging kind, understanding, ayan. Ikaw na yun. Kung baga kung may corona doon, para sa iyo yun. You are the better person. Pero my love, I suggest you switch, um, hindi naman switch, pero you change the type of friends you have. Kasi those people na tinatawag mong kaibigan is not really friends. O oh, diba? Are not really friends rather. Hindi naman talaga sila totoong kaibigan sa'yo. And I don't want you to be blinded by the idea of having a friend in good times in comparison sa kung ano talaga ang ibig sabihin ng kaibigan. Kasi kung kaibigan yan, ba? Diba? Walang talo-talo, my love. Alam mo nang uh, niloloko, alam mo nang pinagtitripan, alam mo nang uh, sinasalaula, susuportahan mo pa ba yung ganong idea? Would you laugh about it? Would you accommodate it? Of course not. If sinaktan mo yung kaibigan ko, if sinalaula mo yung kaibigan ko, at nagkasama-sama tayo one time in a party na ang uh, jowa mo ay kaibigan ko, the nerve, di ba? To, to, to give me a message, to send me a message, and then imply that you like me. Asa naman yung, di ba? Asa naman yung konting delikadesa? Di ba? Parang wala namang delikadesa doon. It doesn't even matter eh. Kung, uh, kung yung lalaking yan ay sobrang guapo or hindi yan guapo yan ay, I don't know I don't know what you see in that guy kung ano man meron sa kanya I, I don't even care right now but the thought of you being, being okay sa idea na makikipaglandian ako sa isang lalaki na nanakit sa puso ng kaibigan ko is something na hindi ko malulunok sana ikaw din kumbaga if you wanna be treated right you have to treat yourself right as well If you wanna be treated with respect, then respetuhin mo yung sarili mo, Arian. Kasi you cannot ask for something that you cannot give yourself. If umihingi ka ng tunay na pagmamahal mula sa tao, then mahalin mo yung sarili mo. If gusto mong bigyan ng value ng ibang tao yung sarili mo, then bigyan mo ng value yung sarili mo. ba? Diba? Pinagtitiripan ka na nga, sinasalaula ka na nga, niloloko ka na nga ng harap-harapan, ikaw na nagsabi, hindi pa aaminin kung hindi mo nahuli, and yet you are okay with the idea of being friends with them. Why? Because they are funny? Why? Because they are fun to be with? Why? Kasi they throw a great party? Yun ba ang basihan ng kaibigan sa'yo, my love? Kasi if that's the case, then uh, I cannot do anything for you. Ikaw na mismo ang gumagawa ng dahilan para saktan ka ng ibang tao. My love, keep in mind that what I do in my show is that show you what you deserve and show you that what uh, show you what you are capable of having. Pero kung ganyan yung gagawin mo sa sarili mo, my love, then you are just getting what you deserve. Because you choose to ignore the red flags sa mga tao just to 
I, I don't know, just to party with them? Or just to be in that circle? Just to fit in? My love, hindi na natin itatouch yung ano na to eh, yung, yung, yung gender issue, yung issue ng LGBTIQ, this is just a part of common sense. Kapag yung uh, quote-unquote kaibigan mo ay niloloko ka, cheating on you, at uh, with, cheating on you with your ex, tapos na ang usapan, dahil tapos na ang friendship. That is a clear sign of disrespect. And we do not tolerate disrespectful uh, people. Kasi that goes to show na hindi nila nakikita yung value mo at yung value ng friendship na meron kayo. So I don't see the point why you stick with people like that. You don't have to. You don't need to. You should not be sticking with people like that. Kasi it devalues who you are. So again, my love, Kung ayaw mong patuloy na masaktan, kung ayaw mong patuloy na mahirapan, at kung ayaw mong patuloy na gawin to sa'yo, then uh, may I suggest you change the people that surrounds you. You change your environment. You change the set of quote-unquote friends na meron ka. Kasi again, love, let me be loud and clear with this one. They are not your friends. Kung ano man yung nagagamit nila sa'yo, ginagamit ka lang nila for it. Nothing more than that. Kung, uh, kung tunay na kaibigan yan, hindi ka babastusin yan. Talikuran man o harapan, hindi man babastusin. Okay? Naintindihan mo ako, Arian? Again, respect begets respect. If gusto mong respetuhin ka ng tao, then respect yourself. If gusto mong i-value ka ng tao, then value yourself. If hindi mo deserve na paglaruan, lokohen, pagtripan ng mga tao sa paligid mo, then there's only one solution left to do, my love. Huwag mo silang hayaang gawin yan sa'yo. Naintindihan mo ko? I hope I'm getting through you, and I hope na you'll never have to experience the same kind of pain again. I hope you learn your lesson from this experience, and uh, somehow, you listen to me. There are people out there that are genuinely friends with you. You can just let go of the rotten one. Yung mga bulok, pakawala mo na. They are not friends. They are not worthy of your time, of your attention, of you. Okay? Sa mga kabisyo natin, kung kayo ay katulad ni Arian, meron kayong problema and you wanna share it with me because you want some clarity ng mabilisan, ng saktong-sakto, diretso, walang hadlong uh, pabuladas, then all you have to do is send your problems over sa aking Facebook page, DJ Lala Banderas, or text me sa ating biyahe text line 0917 Again, 0917